So in this video, we'll calculate the pH of sodium acetate. So the trick here is realizing that this is an ionic compound, and the sodium ion, Na+, is just the counter ion, also known as a spectator ion. So it's really not participating in anything. Uh, the real action happens here with the acetate ion, CH3COO-. And also, the acetate is a base, right? So there are no H's here, so we have to deal with um, the base or in other words, the Kb of the reaction. Once we recognize the sodium is just the counter ion, this is what we have, CH3COO minus. Again, the sodium is just a neutralizing a spectator ion. Uh, the real action happens when this acetate reacts with water. All of this is happening in the solvent of water, remember. Acetate is a base, it's a weak base in fact, and it's the base is abstract protons. This gives us acetic acid, COOCH, acetic acid acetate, conjugate acid, conjugate base pair, plus the OH minus. All of these are dissolved in water, aqueous. Okay, so this is our KB equation. We need to figure out what our KB value is, so we'll look that up in our table, uh, which is in our textbook, but if you don't have the textbook, um, you can look it up on any table here, but... 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 is K, B, a Ka. Source of OH minus the Kb is 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. 10 to the minus 10 is a really, really small number. And uh, we do not have to use the quadratic. We can use our assumption because this is such a magnificently small number. 0.36. We have 0 and 0 here, so it's going to be minus x plus x plus x, and we have 0.36 minus x plus x plus x. So this is what's happened at the equilibrium when the reaction goes this way. Not a lot will go this way, the forward way, because again, 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10 is a pretty small number. So we have our Kb here, which is going to be OH minus times the acetic acid, C. H3COOH divided by the acetate conjugate, the conjugate base to the conjugate acid, right? So base, acid, conjugate acid, conjugate base. So let's plug in numbers here. So 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10 is going to equal to OH minus is X. Acetic acid is X, so X times X is X squared. This is 0.36 minus x. Yeah, I can assume that x is small um, because this is such a small number. So making x small, 0.36 minus x is essentially just at 0.36. So 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10 times 0.36. Let's square root that to get us the value of x. On my calculator, doing that, I'm getting an answer of about 1.42 times 10 to the five, minus 5 big M. Now, this is where you want to add the units of molarity. So that's our X, which uh, really is the concentration of acetic acid. This is our X, which really is the concentration of our hydroxide ion. So instead of calculating the pH directly, we'll first calculate the... POH. So POH is minus the log of the concentration of the OH minus. We calculated the OH minus because that was X. So on my calculator, that gives me an answer of about 4.84. That's POH. A lot of people uh, mistakenly stop at this step. Uh, the question is asking us for pH, right? So 14 minus 4.84 is 9.15, and that will be the answer to this problem.